It isn't pretty, elegant, or finely engineered, but its toughness, reliability, and simplicity have made it the most manufactured gun in history. Number six, the AK-47. From Vietnam to Afghanistan, wherever there was conflict in the second half of the 20th century, the AK-47 has been there. Its origins can be found in the rubble and debris of Europe during the final days of the Second World War. The Nazis had realized that a better gun was needed for street fighting. But their Sturmgewehr, or assault rifle, came too late to save the Germans. However, its concept inspired the Soviet Union to create their own version, in secret. In 1944, Mikhail Kalashnikov, a former tank engineer with a passion for tinkering with all things mechanical, set about designing a new gun that would house the recently developed 7.62 by 39 millimeter round. I think his motive was patriotism. His country was at war, he wanted to do something. Now the fact that what he probably didn't realize in his youthful exuberance was that you don't design a rifle overnight. It took him several years to get it right. So the war had finished. But it was still patriotism that drove him. Um, that was it. He wasn't going to get rich because the communist system wouldn't allow that. I had to work a lot, work hard at my rifle models. I had to create them in a very difficult situation. And they are as dear to me as children are to their mother. After several years and many failed designs, the Avtomat Kalashnikov 1947 was ready to arm the communist world for the Cold War ahead. The AK-47 is perhaps the quintessential assault rifle. It's utterly reliable, simple to operate. It was designed in the days when the Soviet Union had a huge conscript army of peasants whose capabilities in handling complicated machineries were questionable at best. The secret to the AK's reliability lies in its loose mechanical tolerances. Most designers sought to tighten up spaces between moving parts. Kalashnikov allowed them room to breathe. His gun could be subjected to the worst battle conditions imaginable and still be ready to fire. The AK-47 became the standard sidearm for all Soviet personnel. With its single or automatic firing capabilities, it performed the roles of both a rifle and submachine gun in one robust package. The AK is so widely recognized because of its huge proliferation. The Soviet Union in the days of the Cold War literally gave these rifles away. But the fact of the matter is, upwards of 50 million of them were made. The Kalashnikov assault rifle had perhaps its greatest impact against American troops in the hands of the Viet Cong. The AK-47 had a level of firepower that caught the U.S. off guard. Today, it has become universally familiar as the gun of revolutionaries, terrorists, and guerrilla forces all over the world. A fact that fills Kalashnikov with equal amounts of pride and weapons in their hands. We know that, for example, in Mozambique, boys are named the same name as my gun. Sometimes my weapon is used for criminal purposes. It is very frustrating, but how can we help it? Designers are not to blame. I think to us in the free world, the AK-47 symbolizes communism. I think to people in other parts of the world, it could represent freedom. It could represent a shot at a new life. Although the AK's basic design is over 50 years old, it's still a weapon to be reckoned with. China, Finland, Poland, Korea, and Egypt all have their own versions. But the AK-47 was not the first military weapon that inspired many countries to create variations of a particular design. 